Maybe we should sit. This uh, is our back to school special, everybody. Yes. We have, a, um, we have like a, an all college audience here tonight. Your college years can be fun, exciting, even educational, believe it or not, but it can also be a confusing time. Absolutely. You hear all kinds of stuff before you go off to school. And it's hard to figure out what's true and what isn't true. Luckily, you have us to sort it out for you. Let's debunk some myths, Jimmy. All right. Myth number one. College is the best four years of your life. <laughs> Fact is, college is the best six years of your life. Believe me, uh, our audience is not finishing college in four years. No. They're not finishing junior college in four years. <laughs> Myth, your degree will help you get a good job after college. Fact, your degree will cost more than any salary you could ever hope to get. All right. Myth, college prepares you for the real world. Fact is, College prepares you for the real world only if you plan on being a bar hopping, dope smoking, <laughs> workers cop working alcohol. That was my major. Myth, college girls like sex as much as college guys. In <laughs> fact, if they did, they'd be slipping us roofies. <laughs> Freshman year is meant to weed out the slackers. Fact, freshman year is for the slackers to break out the weed. And our final myth, an education is a terrible thing to waste. Fact, so is a keg. You make the call. All right. Let's, um, let's bring out the future of our country, if we could. Mancho boy, oh, Mancho boy, come on out. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, he's he's got to wait at least two years. Oh, I see. All right. To help teach you horny college guys how to get by, we sent the man show boy, who happens to be a master of romance, to a local university to show us all how to pick up women. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Okay. Um, how about we go to dinner sometime? <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll let you drive. You'll let me drive? You'd have to let me drive, because you probably don't drive, huh? No. Are you even old enough to go out? Yeah. <laughs> really? Your mom would let you? Yeah. Come on, I've been practicing kissing on my dog. <laughs> Excuse me? I have to go to my sex education class, and I was wondering if you'd help me with my show and tell project. Yeah, come on, I'll be gentle. I just learned what sex was, and I wanted to try it with you. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, you're turning me down? That's a laugh. Excuse me. Excuse me, babies. Do you want to go on a field trip in my pants? Well, can I at least rub up against your legs? Hey, you ladies ever try a threesome? No. I'd like to be the meat in your sandwich. Hey, baby, you wanna go out with me? I'm sorry, I'm taken. Oh, I thought you were a lesbo. Excuse me, are you guys going steady? Yeah. I was asking her needle dick. Hey, Red. Does the carpet match the curtains? Excuse me. It's time for my afternoon nap. Want to join me? No, thanks. How about 50 bucks, then? <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on. I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> School special, stay in your seats, kids. Even more learning is on the way. Juggy, show us your T and ABC. Well, yeah.
I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is my son, Kevin. Today is a big day for Kevin. It's his first day of school. You excited, buddy? Are you nervous? Well, let me tell you something. You better be. This day could very well determine the whole rest of your life. If it goes well, you become popular. You get girls, friends, go to a good college, get a high-paying job. One slip-up, though, one tiny little mistake, and all of a sudden, you got no job, no friends, you never learn to interact with others, and you turn into a fat, pimple-faced social pariah who spends every Friday night at home watching Ben Savage sitcoms with your mother and I. Is that what you want? Okay, good. Have a good day. Jimmy, that kid would have a better shot if you were raised by raccoons. <laughs> You're probably right. I think you'll all agree that the best part of school is spring break, right? <laughs> but when I was in college, I never went to spring break. I didn't even go to college, but I, I know if I had gone to spring break, it wouldn't have gone well. But we're older now, and thanks to this show, we know our way around a topless woman. That's right. So we thought we might find a young man who needed some help and give it to him. This is us at spring break in Lake Caribou, Arizona. trying to get this guy a woman, so do you have an outfit we can put him in? Let me just tell you about his lifestyle, people, he told me on the boat. He enjoys a lot of napping and masturbating. Uh, what do you think of this? I'll wear it. Hold my hammer while I nail your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, you're looking sharp. You look like a superhero. There's a little gay cowboy. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. that look. He's going to need some shades, too. Yeah. You wear eight and a half or nine? Yeah. These are like a 13, but you'll grow into them. And let me explain something. You girls ask you what your shoe size is, you tell them 13, 13 they go, right. well, you know, big feet, you know what I'm saying. Chicks, uh, they like an edgy, harder look. Do you guys do penis piercings? Three doors down. down. So you do uh, penis piercings here, we understand? Yep, you're wrong there. Oh, really? Oh, the guys down the street told us you do. What kind of piercings do you do? Both ways. What do you think would be the best place to pierce on, on RB? Uh, maybe a nose or an eyebrow. Yeah. yeah. What That's... do you think, RB? Nose or eyebrow? Eyebrow. Nose it is. <laughs> Ow! Sorry about that, RB. Uh, chicks dig guys with scars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fellas. You guys, so you probably do all right with the ladies, right? Yeah, we do all right. You do all right? What, what advice can you give them? Man, you got to be suave, man. You got to be suave. Can you suave. be suave? You got to have, you got to, the looks, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? You know, I got an idea. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, what's your name? Uh, 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 no, 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 no,
right after this. Fraternity Action Heroes, five tough guys, one tough fraternity. Smitty, Wojo, Big Dave, Pooter, and the Toad. I'm the evil Dean, and I'm gonna shut your house down if you don't pass tomorrow's exam. Forget you, Dean. We're going cruising in my dad's beamer to pick up some ecstasy for our party with the Kappas. <laughs> <laughs> all five so you and your friends can act out classic fraternity rituals. Yeah. Fraternity Action Heroes. Fraternity Action Heroes. Okie Cookie sold separately. All right, all right, all right. Settle down, settle down, class. Please. Ladies, please, please. Don't make Jimmy use the stick again. That's right. We return once again to the Man Show, and this is our back-to-school special. I can't tell you how often I look back on my younger days and think, if I only knew then what I know now, maybe, just maybe, I could have tricked somebody into having sex with me. So, for the college kids out there, we'd like to show you a few things we're working on to make your educational experience better. We call these school ovations. When I was a kid, <laughs> settle. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a welcome back Cotter lunchbox, and I loved it. But then I matured, and I moved on to the six million dollar man lunchbox. At a certain point in everyone's adolescence, though, the lunchbox stops being cool. But why? It's kind of nice to have a box with lunch in it. It is. Maybe the problem is what they put on the box. Kitty stuff. In college, you're not interested in The Empire Strikes Back. You're interested in pornographic videotapes. Yes. That's what makes this such a fraternity house favorite. The adult movie lunchbox. I got Hawaiian butt slot six, Jimmy. Man, I wanted that one. Well, that's too bad because my mommy got it for me. Yeah. You open it up and inside, what do you got? Vibrating thermos. <laughs> Keeps cold beverages cold and hot beverages hard. Cold Juggies, water. yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Little, All right. little stocking stuffer. <laughs> uh, speaking of lunch, for most college students, a decent meal is way out of your budget. And on top of that, being away from home can get lonely. Now, though, you can kill two birds with one rock with this. The ramen noodle poodle. It's the pet you can eat. Or, or if you happen to be a Korean exchange student, a real poodle. Wait a minute. You can't tell what side's the business end with these poodles. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. This one has the shrimp flavoring. Yeah. If Jimmy was stoned, he'd eat that entire poodle, I guarantee it. Mm, this one tastes like giblets, Jimmy. <laughs> I eat them both. Of no. course, with all those uh, salty noodles, you're going to get thirsty. And when college guys get thirsty, college guys get drunk. But why suffer through another night of bed spins when you can make physics your friend? Take a look at this. This is the rotating futon. Let me explain how this works. The rotating futon, it spins counter to the way the room spins in your head. Understand? You set it to different speeds according to what you drank. There's the beer speed. All right. Speed up to mix drinks. A little faster. And tequila. Jimmy, Jimmy, you set it to heroin. Let's see him go into the fifth row. <laughs> all right, let's Let get serious. Before we, we have dwarf vomit all over the set. All right, sorry, hey, Art. If we kill another midget, they're going to shut us down. 
Well, let's get serious. Your parents are paying a lot of money for you to go to college. They pay tuition and books, room and board. And now, for just a few dollars more a day, you can actually graduate, too, with this. Your very own Chinese kid. <laughs> yes, it's a fully certified Chinese kid. Takes your test, does your homework, writes your reports. <laughs> Frees you up for the important things like quality time with your bong. I tell you what. I tell you what. His English isn't so great, but his steamed dumplings are out of this world. And finally, who at one time or another hasn't written answers on their hand to try to pass a tough test? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Get caught cheating, though, and you're in big trouble. Unless you call it body art. Vanessa, come up here, young lady. Let me show you what we have here, Vanessa. These are cheat. <laughs> these are cheat cheat tattoos. See here, that's the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. You know, uh, down here, these they look like ordinary veins, but this is actually a scale drawing of the Missouri River and its tributaries. And, Very nice. And over and over to the um, to the east, you can see the Great Wall of Vagina. <laughs> All right, let's let's check the backside. Let's see here. Born to raise hell and become the 16th president and emancipate the slaves in Kentucky in 1863. Everything you need to pass any test anywhere. Oh, oh, time's up, class. Your homework for tonight, get drunk using common household cleaners and solvents. Class is dismissed. Twelve-year-old love machine. Uh, that's funny. Come on, I'm twelve all over. Hey, um, my pops thinks I'm gay. What do you say we prove him wrong? You'll regret this. I'm hung like a tootsie roll. I don't mean to be rude, but if I don't knock one out soon, someone's gonna get hurt. Come on, I'm a cuddler. No. Oh, that time of the month, huh? Alrighty. Just enough show left for the Man Show Book Club. All Good. right, and our book tonight is uh, one everyone had when they were a kid. I think it's um, Extremely Curious George. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, remember what George does with the banana? Oh, yes. How could we forget? All right, everybody, raise a beer. Let's have the man show. Ho, oh, ho. Ziggy zaggy, zig zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy, zig zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy, zig zaggy, oi.